Mercs minis. Brings you the game Mercs. Welcome to the cause, soldier. Let us take a look at the cards. So here are the cards that we use to play the game Mercs. A brief overview of the cards is the top of the card is home to all the things you need to know when you roll for initiative. The next section contains an illustration that mirrors the miniature to which the art corresponds to. The middle left of the card contains the armory. This is where your primary and secondary weapons are located. The middle right section of the card is special rules related to your personal and corporate abilities. The bottom of the card provides essential armor information. Let us take a look at these in some detail. The upper right hand part of the card, circled in blue, on both cards you'll notice a number 4. This number serves two purposes. First, it's used in the initiative rolls at the beginning of your turn. The second time this number is used is during melee combat. Circled in red in the upper left hand part of the card are what we call movement points. On one card you'll notice a 2, on the other card you'll notice a 1. The card on the right during its turn can move two card lengths, while the model on the left can only move one. The bottom left of the card has that armor value that we talked about. A model's weapon strength has to equal or beat this armor value in order to cause damage to the model. The bottom right hand part of the card circled in gray is the armor failure number. If a model is hit, it must make an armor failure check to see if there's any system damage. In order to succeed, the number rolled must be equal to or greater than the armor failure number. The lower the number, the better built the armor is. Now, let's move to the two most important features of these cards that really makes Mercs a unique gaming system. The first being the personal and corporate abilities. Second being the movement. Let's discuss the personal and corporate abilities. On the middle right side of the card, located in the colored squares below the white section, are the corporate abilities. These are unique for every Megacon. Let's look at the card on the left. This model is from the CCC. They have Nanite Armor. This gives a minus one to repair rolls, as well as these will self-heal after two rounds. Model on the right is from the Chemvar Corporation. They have active camouflage. This grants them stealth. On this same card, if you now look at the white section of the card, you will see the single model's personal abilities. The Chemvar Heavy Assault model has eyes in the back of his head, which prevents him from being attacked from behind. He also has Heroic, which is an ability which gives him plus one to all actions when he is alone. Going back to the CCC Heavy Assault model, you will notice he has Wall of Lead, which causes enemies a plus one on their suppression checks. He also has Brawler, which grants this model a plus one to melee damage. If you have not already noticed, around the edge of the card are four semicircles. These circles are the same circumference as a 30 millimeter base of the Mercs figures. When moving, the bottom half circle is always the starting circle. The top center circle represents the furthest point a model can move with 1 MP. This wraps up our first video giving an overview of the card system for Mercs. Be sure to watch our other videos where we go over more rules and dynamics of the game. We'll be sure to include examples from the table. Thanks for watching.